Welcome back to Bay Sunday, a bit of Broadway right here in the city, right here in our studio too. Fresh off its Tony for Best Revival, Pippin, now playing at San Francisco's Golden Gate Theater. A young prince is on his quest for the meaning of life and encounters a little bit of everything. The uh, product production takes you uh, under the big top with high-flying talent at rival Cirque du Soleil. Musical score by Stephen Schwartz of wicked fame. It's a gotta see it show and it's perfect. Go check it out, and we've got a couple of the stars right here. Sasha Allen, the temptress leading player, the narrator, and a Pippin himself, Matthew James Thomas. How are you guys? Hey. Welcome aboard. Hey. Don't reach way yeah. over there. <laughs> well, you guys are fresh out of Denver. You're here in San Francisco. You just opened this week. How's it going? It's, it, I mean, I'm enjoying myself. San Francisco is beautiful. I haven't, you know, you, you just stop in cities, but actually getting to like stay here for a while has been great. Yeah, you yeah. guys get to drop anchor. Have you ever been to San Francisco? I did when I was a kid for, for a short while, but for I was very while. excited to know the tour was coming here for a month or so. Well, for our viewers that don't really know kind of the synopsis of the show, tell us who Pippin is and what he goes through. Well, Pippin is everybody, really, and I think that's, that's revealed as the, the story goes on. You, you see that as the story you know, unfolds in front of you. It's, it's a clever show because you go expecting to see one thing and come out seeing another. Um, and I think you're taken on a journey that um, you wouldn't otherwise be expecting to be taken on. Um, but Pippin is, it's, it's a life journey, it's a coming of age story. Um, and it's told through a play within a play format and concept. And uh, that's, that's the role I'm playing. Yes, you are. Yeah. And uh, the original Pippin is in your cast, John he Rubenstein. He is, John Rubenstein, yeah. What is that like? And do you get pointers? Do you, it's not how I did it in 72, <laughs> kid, you know? No, he's incredible. John is incredibly humble. And he's, and it's, it's a real blessing to work with him because. Um, well, it's and and it's very telling of the story too, because you know, I, you know, swapping around, seeing him play the father is very emotional for me, and 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 also um, informative um, for the, for the character. So that's awesome. And Sasha, you have a delicious role, I guess you could say. You're kind of the uh, the temptress narrator that kind of pushes Pimp it, uh, Pippin Pimpin. from. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry different about show, that. Different show. Yeah, it's a completely different show. <laughs> It's Friday. Uh, uh, Pippin from uh, different vignettes as he goes through this, uh, his changes and whatnot. That's a, that's a good word for it, delicious. Yeah, yeah. it is. Um, you know what, I, I think everybody has a little bit of Pippin and a little bit of the leading player in them. You right. know, you have, you have a production or you have something that you're doing and, and you want to be in control of it. So yes, I get to deliciously try to control everything that's happening on that stage in a fun way with great songs. <laughs> uh, awesome songs. Um, well, let's, uh, let's hear, see a little clip here, then we'll get yep. back and talk about your careers a little bit. Uh, here's Pippin, uh, played at the Golden Gate Theater. Let's take a peek. I said under the big top, and we mean that in a big way. This is a group of performers from a circus out of Montreal, is that right? And uh, between you two and the rest of the cast, I mean, it's exhausting, isn't it? It's Oh, it's a, this, <laughs> this show is definitely um, not, an e you know, not something we could just breeze on through. Right. It, it's not that kind of production, but um, man, we are working hard but we're enjoying it. Enjoying it. Yes. Yeah. Talk about your career. Now you, uh, we were talking about The Voice. Mm -hmm. You were a backup singer for Christina Aguilera and yes. John Legend. You kind of made your mark. You decided to have a family. Yes, and absolutely. to get back in the biz, you went through The Voice and did very well. You didn't win, but did that catapult you into maybe even this, uh, this role? You know what? Um, I, I think that The Voice is so amazing in that way that it just, in two seconds, you are, um, shown to the world, mm -hmm. you know, really to the world. I mean, because Shakira had fans from all over the place who were really supportive and you know, you get tweets and, and lovely things like that. And to be able to do that from The Voice, it was, it was actually super amazing. So yes, it definitely helped my career. Great, and Matthew, you played Peter Parker in Spider-Man on Broadway. Can you compare the roles? Are there any similarities between yeah. All the movements, because uh, you guys don't sit still for two seconds. Up there. Hugely, and I think actually my being being going through the Spider-Man process really helped me with this production. You know, I, it really did feel like it was meant to be. Um, I didn't know that before I went in for the audition, of course. But you know, working with Diane and managing to um, you know collaborate 
all of the physical stuff that I'd gone through with Spider-Man, the six months of training, the singing whilst I was being flipped around and thrown around like a lunatic. Oh, no kidding. You know, I could, def I could then bring that into this show. And so I had the stamina and the, you know, um, luckily uh, to be able to, you know, bring it over. Because, you know, you, you don't do that for five months and then you've lost it. And so it was back to back. And I think all of that stuff with Spider-Man helped, um, helped me prepare for this role in a way that I wasn't expecting. And the original choreographer, Bob Fosse. Yes. Uh, I'd imagine a wee bit of Fosse in this as well, right? Oh, oh my yeah. God. Well, sure. we, uh, a wee bit, a whole lot. A whole lot, a whole lot. Um, it's so interesting having to learn, it just, it's just the technique of like really, really turning everything inward and hands and all, the, all these d small details which make the show, right. you know, amazing. And Lucy Arnaz, yeah, quickly, I mean, she's in her 60s and I hear she's fabulous. She's you gotta see it. Amazing. You should see her on the trapeze. She's Lucy's daughter for crying out loud. <laughs> I know, yeah. you, you kind of get starstruck. That's all right, well, I know you guys are thrilled to be here. Great to have you on Base Sunday. You. All Thank the best so yeah. on your run here in San Francisco. If you'd like more information about Pippin, log on to shns.com. That's shnsf, rather, dot com. Back with more Bay Sunday right after the break. Stay there.